After playing Need for Speed Payback, I thought it's only downhill from here. But I finally got around to playing Need for Speed Heat, and oh my god, I regret not playing this game earlier. If you're looking for a casual, fun, arcade racing game that is not Forza because not everyone can afford an Xbox or a good gaming PC, then I think this game is the best option in the market right now. I want to mention good things about the game that are actually highlights, but I actually can't. I think that if you play a lot of games, it becomes really difficult to point out the good things about it unless there is something I have never seen in my life. Like, for example, the game has quote-unquote good graphics, but I can't make it as a highlight because I've seen better graphics in other games like Forza. So yeah, that's why I don't have many things to highlight about it. But yeah, the sounds, the music, the graphics, the gameplay and all that are good enough. Now that I think of it, there is actually one thing that never gets old in this game, which is the transitions. They're just, ugh, buttery smooth. Just look at this. It's also worth mentioning that this game completely got rid of the micro gambling, also known as microtransactions, which is kind of strange considering that this game is published by EA. It doesn't mean that the game is perfect though. For example, the game gets a bit repetitive because you end up playing the same races over and over. I mean, yeah, you have other races to choose from, but why would you choose races that give you less money and less rep? I think that every logical person will just keep playing the same races that get the best rewards. They kind of tried fixing this by having different variations for each race where one is easy and one is hard so you would get more money for playing the difficult variation. But still, why would I choose to play this race instead of playing this race? In some cases, the easy variation of some races give you more rewards than the hard variation of other races. It doesn't make any sense. I have no idea how they could have fixed this but I think maybe they should have just made all the races have the same or at least similar rewards. Also, the voice acting, it's just cringe. And it's not only the story characters, the police chatter is also cringe. Involved in illegal activity. Ice front! Which means I got the power to impound it. Where you been tonight? We were just here. We were just, what you, what you, what you, what you, you ID. Yeah, I know that they were going for this corrupt cops thing, but come on. I think they could have done a better job. I remember back in the day, in one of the old Need for Speed games, they hired real police officers to do the voice acting. I couldn't find this information online to prove this because there are many Need for Speed games and I really don't remember which Need for Speed game it was. But yeah, what we get nowadays is just horrible. But thankfully, there is actually an option where you can mute all of the voice lines in the game, which is kind of funny because the developers might have realized that the voice lines aren't really that good. They could have simply fixed this by hiring better voice actors or at least they can just hire a better voice acting director because at least a good director would maybe make sure that the line delivery is as good as it can be. Speaking of cops, they do add extra thrill to the experience but they are too aggressive and unfair to the point that you will try your best to avoid encountering them in the first place. which kind of defeats the purpose of having cops in the game. Encountering cops is a random game of chance. Am I going to survive this night or not? It's not like after playing the game for a while, you think, yeah, now I have a durable car and I know exactly how to deal with cops. No, it's not like that. Because the cops are so unfair in this game, you will end up exploiting the game bugs that forces the game to escape the cops like this. Wanna play too? The helicopter is on its way now, so We've been shouting stop. Didn't think they would. I lost visual. Can we get some more eyes out of here? We turn this into a hide and seek. Go find them. 
now that I think of it, it's not that the cops are too aggressive, it's this stupid repair system that only allows you to fix your car three times, which is really unfair considering that the cops can easily drain your health bar in less than 15 seconds, which is a complete joke. This, for me, takes away the fun factor that I used to have with the cops in the older Need for Speed games. I think that if they wanted to keep the repair system, they should have just kept it unlimited, just like Need for Speed Rivals. Or they could have just simply got rid of it altogether and just made your car indestructible like Need for Speed Most Wanted. And unlike Need for Speed Rivals, they made it even more unfair because you must lose the cops before getting to the safe house. I know that this idea isn't new because it was in the old Need for Speed games, but if you're going to introduce limited repair tokens, then there must be a way to balance it out. And they didn't. So it's just like cops that are too aggressive, cops that can easily drain your entire health bar in less than 15 seconds, limited repair tokens, and you must escape the cops before entering the safe house. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. And yeah, it actually is. Although the cops are broken, you can still have fun. I don't know if it's just me missing the old Need for Speed games or I just enjoy the game being absurdly unfair. But yeah, although I complained about the repetitiveness, the cringiness, and the unfairness of the cops, it is still a fun experience. So yeah, I think it was worth the purchase. I know that I sound like a broken record at this point, but if you're buying an older game, it is never, ever worth the full price. So don't be an idiot and buy this game when there is a discount.